Are you fed up with having to use the command line every time you want to extract these LHA files? You have to go to execute and then you have to type in a new shell and then type in LHA X blah blah blah. What if I tell you that I can show you a nice way where you can literally just double click, execute, ask where it's saved, RAM, and there we go, much quicker. So stick around and I'll show you how to use Unpacker and default icons. So I have my Amiga OS 3.2 installation here. The only things that I've added to this is obviously I've changed the resolution. So it's using Picasso, uh, which you can see in this video in the corner here. And also what I've done as well is I've added the magic menu as well. And I've added like the tools demon as well. So you can get some uh, nice shortcuts. I recommend checking out my previous video on how to set this all up and this will save you loads of time. But today we're going to look at Unpacker and LHA files. So the things that we need, we need to obviously have LHA and you can get this via Amunet and downloading the LHA.run and it gives you two of these files here. Um, I use the 68K version. Basically, you have to copy the, that into your C directory, which is in your system. So the C directory here, and, and just rename it to LHA. You'll know that it's all worked because if you then type in a new, type in a new shell and type in LHA, if you get all this stuff back about what version it is 2.15 in my case, then uh, you know that it's all installed correctly. So that's the first thing to do really, to make sure that you've got all of that installed. So after that, we're gonna be using a program called Unpacker. So Unpacker again can be found from Amunet and this just basically gives it uh, the LHA uh, extraction tool, a nice sort of like basic, easy to use uh, interface really. So. We've downloaded that and we've put that into our PC folder so we can see it on the Amiga, there it is. And at the moment, when we double click on it, you'll see this, the icon has no default tools. Now, don't worry, we're gonna be looking into default tools in just a moment. But what we're gonna do first is we need to extract that unpacker. Right, so let's open up a new shell, type in, LHA space X unpacker dot LHA and then I'm going to extract it to RAM. There we go. And then we'll go into our RAM disk. There's a folder called unpacker. We look in there, there's just a file called unpacker. What we need to do is we need to go to system, go to uh, your uh, Windows show all files so you can see all, all your folders. Go to the C directory, which is all your commands, and then drag Unpacker into there. And there's one more file that I forgot to copy over, and that's in the EMV directory. So you're probably wondering, where's this gonna go? So let me show you. You go to System, Preferences, Make sure that you're viewing all files within preferences, and then you're looking for EMV archive. And then there's a whole bunch of files in here. What we've got to do is copy that unpacker.config into this folder here. Then if we try running that program again, there we go you find that it runs. And basically this is asking for an archive. Now, I'm not gonna use Unpacker in this way. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at default icons. So this is specific to Amiga OS 3.2 here. So uh, we're gonna go into system, go go into preferences, and we're gonna have a look for default icons. There we go, default icons. Now, if you haven't used this before, this is kind of a way 
to get the Amiga to recognize what program to use when you're double clicking on an icon. Uh, in the Windows world, this is called App Associations, but um, yeah, in Amiga, it's called Default Icons. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that there's loads of different types of files. So we're looking for the one that says Archive. Choose the one that says Archive, and then click on the icon, just a single left click. You'll now get this uh, window pop up. So just click on icon at the top and then default tool. Well, it's blank at the moment. What we're going to use, we're going to use unpacker. So just type the word unpacker. Also as well, when it says start from, make sure that you change it from workbench to shell. So click on save, then save again, reboot the Amiga. And then once booted up, let's go to the PC directory and say, for example, if I want to extract MUI38 user, I just double click on that. It asks execute a file and yeah, I want to use Unpacker and MUI. So I'll just click on execute. Uh, I want to extract it to RAM. So yes, okay. You see the progress of it all done. Yeah. And then there you go. So we can extract things by just double clicking on them now, which is really convenient. So magic menu, double click on it, execute, then okay, done. So I hope you found this video really useful. There we go, there's magic men menu just to prove it's there. Hope you find this video useful. Um, don't forget to give it a like if you found it useful and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.